Unga bunga, unga bunga. Hello. We're going to Wessex Blades. I've got chatting with the old Rob with a B with his fantastic series, 101 Ways to Make Fire. And his latest thing was including his caveman buddy, that back in time called Zob. Rob. Zob. Anyway, to and from between the, car- the uh, bathroom with Roberta, he introduced Rob to the African road drill. Opposite long rod. Look at that. He got on conversation. I said, as long as you keep him away from the old Brasso. To which he commented, Brasso is flammable. The Brasso I'm on about that I use is the one in a tin like this. Okay. Now, the lovely bit I do like is it says dangerous for the environment, which is always a great little bonus. Okay. Directions. Remove wadding, remove wadding and polish evenly for best results. That's not the best results. Okay. Yes. As soon as you see aliphatic hydrocarbons, aromatic hydrocarbons and stuff, I just think, hmm, probably something quite nasty. Now, it was FPS bloke, the Sarge, Joe Nicholson, that put me onto this. Uh, they used it in the cadets. So they clean their metal bits up with it those parade badges and things and everything just don't do your mess tins okay so that's the health and safety rubbish out of the way that's what to get and when you finish with it you get a tin for char cloth afterwards as well how about that so you open the lid up mine's kinked so it's a bit of a one of them pump, pump. there's the brass so what it inside like that and it's as complicated as this. Here's the caveman. It's as intelligent as it gets, I'm afraid, in Wessex. So, in the corner of my uh, wonderfully fireproof garage are both my forges. Um, I'm not a very, um, what's the word, commercial sort of brand. Let's put on my Dickies workwear jumper and work coat. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> slip take. And um, I'll take the Brasso cures all fire lighting ills. Take the wall in. That should be enough. The beauty now is you yeah, put the lid back on. Keep it away from young children and the cavemen. You walk over to your forge, your fireproof thingy. I'll put it sort of there, you should be able to see it whoomp up at some point. Um, now we need a fire starting device. <sighs> so, triple threat by Wessex Blades, three ferro rods. It's a pretty really commercial venture, this. And your bow drill, top block spindle therein. Good, eh? Now we need something suitably attiring. Hmm. Cold steel special forces shovel with a Dorset Woodland Blades Kydex top. Swing, swing, go around the corner, drop <laughs> over the blades. Bunga, bunga. Yes, we have fire. Definitely have fire. Cold steel special forces shovel. Triple fret. A big fat small blade in the in my foot. Mm. By the light of the silvery moon. Yes, it is eight mil thick. Still burning. So, that's for you, Rob. Brasso on it. And you get the tin for charcloth afterwards. How about that then? 
Brought to you and searching with Caveman Wessex Blades over the UNSA. Thank you. See you on the next one. Check out Rob's channel. It's flammable. Bunga. Bunga.